Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a really short one and I'll be talking about how to load and visualize raster data. So this will be multiple imagery, which is more like a time series. So here I have broken down the uh, workflow into four simple steps. So first basically we will be uh, getting our data and then we'll be loading or in spatial terms, we'll be stacking all the raster files. And from that, we'll be creating a data frame. And finally, we'll be using ggplot to visualize those data. So let's get started. So firstly, we will be reading in the data. So here I have used uh, some sample data from NEON, which stands for National Ecological Observatory Network. So actually, they have a wide range of data and even their partners such as Data Carpentry uh, offers a lot of spatial science tutorials. So I highly recommend you guys checking those out. So here uh, you can actually check where is your current palette and once you uh, once you are set to your ideal path where your data is stored, just call those data. So here, like I told, my data is a bunch of imagery. So I'll be calling those here. And here I'll be just making sure that all the data which I'm called are only TIFF images. So that's why I have put this here, pattern equal dot TIFF. So once that's done, let's move to the second step, which is actually stacking the raster data. So I have installed here a few of the basic packages that we use in spatial science. So once you have loaded those data, now we can stack the file. So this is here we are using the stack function to stack all the different imagery into one. We can also actually uh, check other metadata here, such as coordinate system or uh, extend our boundaries. Uh, I won't be going in detail there. And now we move to the third step, which is actually we're creating a simple data frame using the as.data.frame function. And we'll be also using the melt function from the shape package here for actually reshaping the data. Uh, yeah, I just noticed that we are using the pipe operator, which, which comes from the deep layer package. Which is also a very common package for data cleaning and analysis. Yeah, so once I run this, uh, load this package, we can run this code. So we have created a simple data frame. So we see uh, the data frame that's being created. So it basically has x, y variable and value. And now we move to the final step, which is the data visualization. So here I'll be using ggplot and geom underscore raster function for uh, visualizing the spatial data frame. And here also I'm using this function called facet wrap. So you can see more, get more details of it here. But it it actually uh, just does like create like a multi-panel plot so that it's better for visualization. So let's run that code. I take a moment yeah so uh, we got the time series data visualization here so uh, yeah I know that it's kind of hard to interpret uh, information from this because like the basic ideology of this video was just to load raster data and to visualize it so I hope you guys found this video really helpful uh, please subscribe for upcoming videos because I'll be talking more about how to clean this data and also how to do more data analysis and develop publishable quality reports. So uh, until next time, bye bye.